coming in. Very good Pleasure. submission. Right, have we got John Lewisom here? Tanakatu Katoa. Uh, I'm John Leeswin. Uh, sorry about the mask. I hope that I'm not too muffled. I'm just on the last day of quarantine, so uh, isolation from COVID. Thought I'd uh, best uh, be 100% sure. Thank um, you. We can hear you very well. Okay, Cheers. very good. Uh, first of all, thank you all for the attention you're giving to this and also to council staff for what I thought was a very well-run engagement. Um, so uh, I'm a transportation planner. Um, I've got a master's in engineering and transportation uh, from the University of Canterbury, and I'm an Institute of Transport Engineers certified transportation planner. I've been living in Spraden since 2008, and I'm a very keen walker. I walk a lot um, through all parts of the city, but especially in the areas between Spraden and the central city. And I've got five things to communicate in my remaining time today, and I'll use the acronym IEAT to um, summarize those. I is the impact. E is the environment. A is animals. And T is travel time. I don't know how much opposition you have received um, to the proposals, but I'd like to frame my feedback in, in this little mnemonic. The impact of lowering speeds from 50 to 30 with a sign only, doing nothing else, no enforcement, no engineering, we know from international research is about two and a half kilometers per hour per 10K. So roughly five kilometers an hour in reduced speed. Now that may not, may not sound like a lot. Hopefully staff have given you graphs that show what five kilometers an hour means. It is, to use the A uh, of animals, the difference between um, many animals getting run over and not. So my wife is a veterinarian and it was a weekly occurrence for her to deal with hit by cars. So um, we've talked a lot about the impact on children. There's also the impact of speeding on our loved pets. And um, it is traumatic for the family owners, but also for the veterinarians and their partners having to deal with people driving at such speeds. And while I know that speed limit reduction is not necessarily going to address the antisocial behavior, eventually um, it, it becomes more normal to drive slower. And it will feel difficult initially to drive this much slower, but over time, and there are some streets where 40 is in place, and you see people do get used to it. Another A, um, I eat environment. I skipped one. So clearly, if we drive slower, then we're going to have less acceleration, and that's better for the environment. Um, and I'd like to conclude with travel time. A lot of people think, oh, well, 30, this is really going to slow down traffic, slow down buses. Travel time is not dictated by how fast we can go in the mid blocks, but by all the intersections along our journey. So the, the actual impact on travel time is not as great as some may, may put forth. So that's it. Fantastic. Thank you very much for a refreshing um, submission. Now we do have one question from Sarah. Thanks, John. Actually, just a point. Um, Chevy, it's been changed to 30. Yes, so, thank you. Yeah, thank yeah. you very much. So that, that, um, that whole area, because we got lots of feedback talking about the difference between 40 and 30 and, and switching between and stuff, um, I think all of the ones in that whole area are now 30 instead of 30 or 40. Yeah, I fully support what one of the previous persons was saying that um, you know it's too confusing for the general yeah. public and too many signs to have 30, 40, 50. Let's just keep it as simple as possible. Great. Thank you so much. I hope you um, have a full recovery. Bye tomorrow.